Hey guys, what's up? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top three Warframes that I feel like would benefit from using the Rack Cernos. Now, I know that there are other Warframes that would definitely benefit from using this weapon. The purpose of this is just to showcase the top three that I feel like extremely benefit from using the Rack Cernos. If you're wondering how to get the Rack Cernos, if you are interested, you need to be in the Red Veil or just buy it from someone that is in the Red Veil. But besides that, let's get into the video. So the first Warframe that I feel like would really benefit from using the Rack Cernos is Titania. Now, the reason why I picked Titania is the fact that whenever you play her, you're going to be using your abilities a lot because she's a very ability-heavy Warframe. Whenever you play her, your kind of main focus is to just stack buffs and whenever you need it, cast a lantern or just take flight and you go right into razor wing but for people that don't have a let's say fleeting expertise or they don't have like an orican reactor they can't get that really good efficiency that you would need on titania then i would say the rack discernos is a pretty good alternate option only because the syndicate proc that you get from this weapon is you get the energy and you also get a viral aoe which is really nice too you can also build up your syndicate proc by using your abilities and basically getting kills from using the weapon. Being that Titania is such a ability heavy frame, you're just going to be stacking that syndicate buff a lot and it's going to be coming up a lot. So you will always be having that energy that you need in order to keep stacking your buffs and using all of your other abilities when you need them. The second Warframe that I chose for this list is Banshee. If you're not using a weapon that can give you energy or is generic, you will run out of energy extremely quickly with her, so that's why I feel like the Ractosernos is definitely a great pick for anybody who plays Banshee. The build I have for Banshee is a Resonance build, and that is my favorite build. I don't really like to use the Resonating Quake. And whenever you use Resonance, you're basically just stacking your Sonars, which enables you to do like over 200,000 damage. It's just good because sometimes bows won't really feel like the best thing to use in like a certain mission. And if you're stacking your residence, then that won't really be a problem. All right, so on to the last frame. The last frame I feel like would really benefit from using the Ractosernos is Chroma. Chroma, I really do like. Chroma has like a soft spot with me. The only problem I feel like with Chroma is that he needs a lot of Forma and just a lot of things in order to be good, but that's kind of just besides the point. So <laughs> what I wanted to say was when you use Chroma, you really want to just keep your Vex Armor on and Elemental Ward because those are the abilities that you really just get good use out of because they basically give you armor. Well, if you're using an Ice Chroma. And if you are using an Ice Chroma, then this is even more of a reason why you should be using Arachnosaurus with Chroma. Like I said before, the, the main reasons for using Arachnosaurus with him is just because of the abilities that you will be using if you don't have good duration, let's say, or you don't have good efficiency. Then the Arachnosaurus pretty much enables you to be able to activate your Vex Armor and Elemental Ward. As you can see, my energy throughout the video, I haven't used an energy plate in the beginning. I just kind of went and was just getting kills with the Ractosernos and just getting my energy up that way. So now that I got my top three frames out of the way, I will now be showing you guys my build. This is the build I use. It does very well in late game, which I was kind of surprised. I usually don't have a problem around like level 80, 90. Like it's really good. I brought it to sorties and it does fine. It's definitely usable. You can use it anywhere in the game. I gave it kind of like a corrosive build, but it is mainly a crit weapon. So as long as you build it for crits and have some status in there, you should just be good to go. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.